Now, Essex police have come under fire after they sent five police officers to raid a pub that had gollywog dolls on display. A small army of bobbies entered uh, Benice and Chris Riley's Grey's Boozer and confiscated the 15 dolls after receiving an anonymous complaint about them. Customers have previously complained about the toys, branding them a hate crime. But Home Secretary Suala Braverman is furious with the force for not focusing on fighting real crime. And a Home Office source said the Home Secretary's views have now been made very plain to Essex police, so they're under no illusions. Police forces should not be getting involved in this kind of nonsense. It's about tackling antisocial behaviour, stopping violence against women and girls, attending burglaries and catching criminals, not seizing dolls. Well, Essex police have since denied being reprimanded by Braverman. This does raise real questions about the scourge of woke policing regardless. So, Calvin McKenzie, what do you make of this? I mean, you call the police these days and say, there's a bloke in my house robbing me. Uh, you're lucky to get someone to call you back 24 hours later. Uh, but you've got some gollywog dolls on display and they're going to send five of them to a pub. Right, well, I think there's two aspects to it. First of all, they've had these gollies in their, in, in their pub for 17 years, right? So this is no surprise. Not new. S secondly, they're on the tip of a, what is quite a nasty council estate, right? And if you ask the council house tenants what chance there was of getting the police down for a burglary or a bike stolen or everything, they will tell you, actually, the regulars will tell you that the cops won't go anywhere near the place. So... As long as somebody makes a complaint, and what it looks as though has happened is that somebody has come in, looked at it, taken pictures of it, gone straight out, and then went to the police. So this is an activist. It's not, not some kind of local, local punter who's got very annoyed after 17 years. Oh, look at this shocking case. Now, why do Essex police think it's appropriate to send five police officers down? Why do they think that's right? They know what the atmosphere's like out there. Actually, a whole bucket is now falling on them, both politically and probably locally, about what they did. Why do they think that's in their interest? Surely it's in their interest to say, we are going to catch every single person who steals a bicycle in the Essex County area. That's in their interest. They need good PR. They don't need this kind of stuff. No, indeed. And what do you make of the actual idea... Uh, that some dolls should be confiscated right. anyway. Because surely if you're offended by the gollywog dolls, uh, you have a choice. You, you walk out of the yep. pub, you, you don't buy your pint. Right, well, that, pub, that, you go next door to well, the Well, that's, that's what the licensee has now done, which has said, look, we've got these dolls, because they've now put other dolls there. So the whole thing is massive. The business has probably gone off the dial. Great right publicity, isn't it? Fantastic. They put the notice out and said, we've got these dolls in here. If you're going to be offended, could you please go, go elsewhere? That is pretty fair. Look, the, the golly has been a big issue now for years. After all, I'm so old, I can remember when it was on, I mean, it was on marmalades mm -hmm. and, and that was scrapped in 2002. We all played with them growing up. Yeah, uh, well, I can't remember. I, I don't think I'm a, a, a kind of golly play doll kind of guy, but you may well be. I quite understand that. <laughs> but so it's an issue. It is an issue. But is it an issue to be dealt with by a whole phalanx of no. police officers turning up? What, what, and people wonder all the time, why, why haven't we caught that person? Why, why does nobody come down to my house when it was burgled? Why this, why that? And honestly, the answer is not five police officers turning up. And there will be none of your viewers who will take the view, oh, that's a good idea. And also, you get into really dodgy territory here, don't you? Because... Look, these pub owners, as you rightly point out, they say they display a sign, mm. uh, making it clear there are these dolls there. So actually, it's a bit like a museum piece in a way, isn't it? So yeah, it's, actually, just, it's, just, just, some, it's, it's just something. Look, so do we start censoring what's on display at museums? Uh, well, I, actually, then, now that would be quite an interesting idea. The British Museum should actually put uh, these gollies actually yeah. demonstrating something that they don't particularly care for. Honestly, you're, you're having a point there. You know what this is about. They, they don't need to have the police yeah. come down. And is it genuinely a hate crime? No, of course it's not. Well, because... no, of course it's not. Of course it's not. But look, you know, the irony is, Benice says business is booming. You know, over the last two days, my customers keep singing, save the gollies, and they want us to get them back. So, yeah. you know, this is the issue here, isn't it? The police have actually drawn attention to this 
Uh, it wasn't and, really anyone anyway. And they also don't like Suella Braverman pointing out, this is what your job is. Your job is to catch yeah. criminals. You're not there to these yeah. kind of social well, they, crimes. Well, they, they, like they like being able to do things like confiscate dolls because it's easy, right? It's yeah, easy. it's a winner. It's much easier. It's a winner, it's than, a winner for them. Than uh, solving a burglary. Yeah. Calvin McKenzie, thank you so much.